This is Lorena from Ink and Lace and today I would like to talk to you a bit about um, how to start Romanian point lace and what you need for it. If you're new to Romanian point lace, please visit our website www.balia-rights.com and check out what we do. We're based in Brisbane. So if you want to start creating lace, <coughs> excuse me, you need um, thread. I'm using Romano Fear. Romano Fear comes from Romania and it's one of the best and highest quality thread when it comes to lace making or fine crochet. So check it out. We have other colors available, but this one is a really popular one. Um, now, scissors. You will need sharp scissors. I like to use a long one, a pointy one, and also an embroidery scissor. This is very important because Sometimes you need to cut really close to the um, to the cord and you need to have the finest um, element cut off so it looks impeccable. Now, I'm a big fan of vintage hooks and vintage hooks are really hard to get or you can check out what your grandma has left. Zero point, excuse me, I'll turn it. 0 0.75 is a traditional hook to create Romanian pointless. It's very sharp, it's very pointy and has a really long, uh, excuse my hands, um, my nails, um, shaft. This is really important because in Romanian point lace, we do the grape, the bullion design, so we need a very long shaft. With this one, you can actually um, have at least 24 reps. If you're familiar with Romanian point lace, you know what I'm talking about. Um, in compared to this one, well, this is a non-brand hook, but I love to use it because it's really nice. With this one, I can do only maybe, let's say, 16 wraps if I use traditional thread. Now, if you are not a fan of vintage or you cannot get any vintage hooks, voila, tulip. Now, the Tulip brand is a really gorgeous brand. It comes with these little cap protective caps. It comes with... A scissor and a pouch with a needle measuring uh, rulers and it looks like that so you get a set of a set of um, hooks in one really protected easy to carry now the tulip brand is not a cheap brand but they are for me a lifetime kit you buy one and you actually have not to buy again unless you really damage them <coughs> now also, when you do Romanian pointless, you will need to work with fabric, calico. You will create a design on the calico, like this. This is, for example, for a grid, for a crystal grid. Um, what else do you need? You need sewing thread. Sewing thread and needles i like to use my needles on a needle minder so it's easy to remember where they are They're quite good i also like to use larger needles and this is just what i'm doing it's not a traditional thing to do but i find it really easy to use i like to use a tweezer this is really important because uh, once you saw the um, I'll show you here. Once you sew the cord here you go, with the sewing thread to the um, calico, you use the tweezer to basically take every single uh, leftover thread out. This is easy because that way you don't damage the, um, the cord and it goes way faster in um, taking every leftover out. Now if you work really fine, fine lace when it comes to Romanian point lace, you can also work with silk thread. But silk thread is really, really difficult to work with. Uh, when I do Romanian point lace that is including embroidery, I really like to use silk thread because it's really fine. Now, you can also use embroidery hooks if it's easier. But you have to be really careful not to damage the cord. Okay, what else? Um, plenty of cord. 
is to make is to be made if you create traditional Romanian point lace, this is the traditional color of Romanian point lace um, doilies, ecru, or also called beige, pure cotton, and we make meters and meters, kilometers out of it for a large um, tablecloth or um, for a dress or for colors, depending what you work on. Now, um... This is not a traditional color for it, but this is like a poppy seed design. And this is created with cotton, organic cotton in Romano Fear. But it's not the same greens and blues. Um, and with a uh, silk on top, okay? So you see, you can combine uh, threads with each other, but you have to be very careful how you work. This is the back side, see? So if you have any questions on Romanian point lace, how to start and where to go from there, please visit our website. We just introduced a new series. Um, we updated our book and put it in a um, digital format. So you have everything available and I updated it actually a little bit and created more um, details on uh, one pattern that is in the book. As well as we just work at the moment on... Um, digital series so every month you'll receive uh, a new pattern coming out at the moment i was working on the pansy so it's looking like that and you'll learn how to do these stitches gorgeous right and next month you'll receive another flower so if you want to pre-order to work on the pansy design um please leave me a message on the website and i'll get it to you and Thank you so much for watching and supporting our channel. I'm looking forward to teach more about Romanian point lace. And also, I'm looking forward to finish this grid. It's uh, for a um, crystal healing session on um, more, more love, self-love. That's why the hearts, where the crystal will be placed on the hearts. Uh, what I like about this is that it's, you can use it as a doily or you can make it as a gift or you can use it for yourself. Like I said, for this purpose. So, please let me know what you do with your Armenian point lace, either doilies or accessories. So, thanks for watching. La revedere, vă pup. Mwah.